Now, Eddie, you write in this that Biden himself has referred to Roosevelt's reform strategy as corrupt in a power grab. But now he's putting together a group to study or, you know, look into the idea of expanding the Supreme Court. So do you find that interesting that he's had a sudden shift? Oh, I mean, absolutely. If you look at those comments, he said in 1983, so we're going way back, 1983, he said that it was boneheaded. And then in 2005, a full, what, 22 years later, he was saying it was corrupt. It was a power grab. He spent most of his career, um, you know, criticizing uh, Roosevelt for that court packing argument. He also said that it damaged the Supreme Court for a full decade. The attempt that Roosevelt made damaged the court for a decade. So he knows it. Uh, I don't believe that Biden wants to pack the court. I believe that he's just. Uh, sort of going through the motions, putting together a commission. He doesn't really have any intention. That's just a guess. But what really interested me about this is it really undermines President Biden when Congress comes along and says, well, you know what, you have your commission, whatever. We have a bill to pack the court right now. Like that undermines Biden's leadership because he says we need a commission to look at it first. Congress says, no, we don't want that. We just want to pack it now. Well, it kind of, in my mind, Eddie, it just is really emblematic of their entire problem where they, they try to appease the left in some small way. And, you know, the far left radicals like AOC, to their credit, they just push that aside and say, oh, no, no, we don't have time for that. We don't have time for commissions and studies. We want this now. They're like the girl in uh, Willy Wonka. I want it now. And I, I'm shocked that Biden hasn't figured that out. And Eddie, to, to what I've been noticing lately is that people will say, oh, I don't think he'll actually really do it. But the more I see of the stuff he will do, I'm like, I don't know. I wouldn't put it past him. Well, you know, I really, I really don't believe that they could get it through. I mean, you might be right about that. There's no, you can't look at uh, Joe Biden 10 years ago and draw conclusions about Joe Biden now because he doesn't believe the same thing. Right. Just like one minute on the court packing, he's going at boneheaded, headed a power grab corrupt, and that now there needs to be a commission to find out if it's good or bad. And he's like that on a lot of issues. It's not just the Supreme Court at all. Yeah, no, and the last thing I want to ask you about, Eddie, um, is a, a quick question about these term limits, because sometimes if, if, you, if you look at what the left is saying about what they want to do to the Supreme Court, you mentioned in your piece, it's more than just packing it. They also want, you know, major reforms. And one of those is term limits. But you bring up a great point about why term limits are so dangerous and why the why the framers didn't want them. And can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. The problem with uh, term limits, and this is, uh, you know, this is, this is Alexander Hamilton, one of the framers of the Constitution in Federalist Number 78. He says that the greatest way to ensure an independent spirit in the judges is to make sure that they have lifetime terms, which uh, are granted to them by the Constitution. And so the reason for that is you don't want a Supreme Court justice calculating how they decide cases based on, well, maybe when I'm done with this, I'll run for office, or maybe when I'm done with this, I'll be president, or I'll be, uh, you know, a senator. You know, you don't want them planning for afterward, because, you know, let's say a judge says, well, I'm going to be kicked out of here for my, my term will be up in a couple of years, and I want to run for the Senate when I'm done with this. So I'm going to need to raise money. I'm going to need to make all the right people happy. I'm going to need to have voters from whatever party be happy with me. Now suddenly all of their decisions are based on politics because their term's going to run out and they have an idea for what to do next. 
Right. And and you bring up 2020 in the election and how they actually did not do what a lot of conservatives probably would have guessed they would have done. And that just goes to show you it's because they do feel comfortable enough to actually vote based off what they think and not what, you know, their supporters are going to um, support. Absolutely. And the Supreme Court's uh, approval rating among Republicans dropped significantly after they refused to hear those cases. You couldn't take a hit like that if you wanted to have a political future. But luckily, they don't because they all have lifetime terms. Exactly. Eddie Zipper, thank you so much for joining us. Eddie has a great piece out in the Boston Herald. I'll tweet it out from my account. I'm sending him the hard copy today. Eddie, what is your Twitter handle if people want to follow you? Because you're very popular on Twitter. Is it at Eddie Zipper? That's uh, Zipper with two ERs. Yes, Z-I-P-P-E-R-E-R. Thank you, Eddie, so much. We hope to have you on the show again soon. By the way, guys, allergy season is here, and that means one thing. You need the Eden Pure Thunderstorm air purifier. Warmer temps are creeping up, and you're going to want to open those doors and windows. Pollen is going to come in, and when it does, you're going to need the Thunderstorm air purifier. I also use a Thunderstorm in my kitchen after I cook and there's a lot of, you know, after you cook a steak or chicken, there's usually a lot of smells that you want to get rid of right after. And it's great for that. But Jared uses it because he has bad allergies. I do. And it is especially bad this year. And the Eden Pure Thunderstorm is great. And what I love about it is it's a small unit and you really, you get it, you plug it in, you turn it on and it gets to work right away. And what it does is, you know, you hear about air fresheners or things that will release a scent. No, this doesn't cover up the air around you. It actually cleans the air around you like a thunderstorm does naturally. That's why they call it the thunderstorm. So what it does is it ionizes the air and that gets rid of allergens, which is huge for me. It gets rid of odors. It gets rid of pollutants. It gets rid of some viruses and you're breathing clean air, which is a huge deal for somebody who has trouble breathing with seasonal allergies. And there's a huge deal right now because you can get the thunderstorm at the lowest price available. Just use code word GRACE and you'll save an additional $10 off the sale price and get free shipping. Go to EdenPure.com, click on the radio banner and put code word GRACE at checkout. That's EdenPure.com, radio banner and code word GRACE. With the Eden Pure thunderstorm, your problem rooms will no longer be a problem. We'll be back on the other side. This is the Grace Curley Show. You're listening to the Grace Curley Show.